Uh, Juan says, sounds like Oro has very strict requirements. And, you know, it's one of those things I feel like um, when it comes to compatibility, you know, I, I think about it more like um, like Apple stuff, right? A lot, of a lot of times, like, something doesn't work with something else. Like, you know, I whatever, iMessage doesn't work with Android. Like, whose fault is it, right, that it doesn't work with the other one? And, and I think that the oral layout is actually the most forgiving. Because yeah, I think when so you have it set up like that, or at least so front heights, front and rear heights, I can use that according to Denon, right? According to what mm -hmm. the, the AVR says, I can use it with Oro 3D, Dolby Atmos, DTSX. If I change it to uh, in-ceiling speakers like Atmos kind of recommends, I can't choose some of the other ones. Yes, so, right. right. It seems to me that the Oro layout is the most versatile. So strict, yes. I don't know that it's strict. I mean, all of them have their particular requirements, right? So I'm, I mean, uh, Juan's comment here in oral layout, if the main listening position is against the back wall, at what angle should the rear heights go? So this is how it's in my system, right? My my um um my couch is right up against the wall. And so my side surrounds are right there and there, right? So my surrounds are left and right. So I have the oro channels whoop, right above those facing inward because they can't go backward or whatever so you kind of just have to play with it like it's not not every room is going to be perfect you got to do what you can and for me i think that's going to be better than me obviously me trying to put in in ceilings i can't put in in ceiling speakers but um it's funny or, or it totally makes sense how in the AVR settings if you take any kind of in ceiling height speaker or 3d is just shut off like it is you can't use it. And even the way Wilfried was explaining it, you know, having a second quadraphonic layer of sound above you, like to me, in ceilings wouldn't properly, it wouldn't sound right. It wouldn't sound right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and um, on uh, in some rooms, we have the problems when the speakers are top middle. We have, um, how can I say, um, a point of sound from the ceiling. So, uh, so it's not very, um, how can I say, not very wide of range. And uh, when you get four of them, you can see like, because it's not the, um, sometimes it can be not uh, immersive enough. It can, I don't know how to call it in, in the right words, but uh, with, with a front and rear eye layout, uh, also with a, a top middle or a, a um, um, a top recavation, but but as a as a front and rear height uh, speaker layout, you get the better, in my opinion, uh, you get the better experience of hearing. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I was always wondering, you can with Oro 3D, you can use rear heights and you can use surround heights. Yes. Right? So I assume if you use if you have them on the sides, I don't know. Can I don't know if you can change that on the on the AVR. Does on the AVR, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, um, even though I I actually have that setup, right? Uh -huh. I my height, my rear heights are right above my rear surround, so they're technically in that spot of surround height. If I put that, if I select that though in the AVR, then Atmos won't work. So, on the halfway, on the halfway. Yeah, yeah. Um, so o only the front height channels will work. The yes. rear height channels will not work. If you put the AVR as front height, surround height, you'll only get at most 5.1.2 or 7.1.2. Yes. If you do it that way. So the, I, that's what it's, it's just so weird. <laughs> it's I haven't so tested surround heights though. So I'm kind of curious is, is that the intended uh, layout? Does that sound better uh, in any way than having rear heights for oral? I think it just depends uh, on your room. Yes. <laughs> It depends on your room, and uh, you need the, the right distance from your ear to your to your speaker. But uh, the rear height is a is a little trick to get uh, utmost in this layout. Also, I see. So with with front height and rear height, we always talked about front and rear height. Mm. You get um, Aro 3D and Atmos before, or it depends on six speakers uh, in in this way. I guess I just wonder if I'm missing out on something though. Am I missing out by it being rear heights and making that compromise if I'm always, almost always 
keeping it on oro oh, would it be better question, if yeah. i could if you know my room is pretty uh i can put them pretty much anywhere would it be better if i uh put side or surround, surround height yeah would i get a better experience um as, uh, I don't in know. my opinion find it out try it on a ladder i was hoping you're gonna tell me uh, we see we see <laughs> yeah, I um, out the ladder <laughs> with the higher models of of denim runs areas you can decide uh surround heights and um, rear heights in in uh, as a setup so you can split the signal Mm -hmm. Then for hour you get it. You get the, the the signal from from the surround heights and from the for utmost you get it from the rear heights. Maybe oh, you I can see. test. I see. Can test it like this, but um, for uh, because um, in my opinion, for the for better hearing experience, put it on the rear heights. Ah, all right. Well, I'll just leave it. I'm lazy. Oh.